Hey guys, today let me show you how to access Ubuntu computer or Ubuntu uh, operating system uh, without installing it in your computer or even in your virtual machine. Alright, now let me go to Ubuntu.com and uh, once I'm in Ubuntu.com I need to go to downloads and click on desktop and uh, let me check for the uh, latest version uh, for the latest features we can go with 13.04 uh, rather than uh, selecting 12.04 LTS version. So here I have the option to select the uh, operating system uh, version or the bit. So uh, I'm selecting the 32-bit operating system version and clicking on uh, this Ubuntu 13.04 uh, which will take me to the next page. And this is the page wherein uh, we can uh, choose to uh, or we will have the option to donate to the the open source forums or the open source developers and uh, as this is a test video let me select zero everywhere and I would uh, suggest you guys to donate to the open source technologies because these guys have been doing fantastic job in provisioning the um, you know the open source softwares um, to the entire world right so now once I select zero everywhere I will have the option to click on download once I click download I'll have the ISO image coming up so I already have this ISO image saved in my desktop friends so this is just uh, to show you how to download this particular image so let me click on cancel rather than clicking on save and get back to my uh, the desktop wherein I have this Ubuntu image uh, available so now let me create a virtual machine by going to uh, the Oracle VM virtual box so here uh, the the client software uh, of the virtual machine of the or the or the virtual software that I'm using here is the Oracle VM virtual box so here the name I'm giving is Ubuntu I'm clicking on next and I'm giving a, a RAM space of 1024 uh, 1 GB and uh, I want to create a virtual hard disk and uh, let me select the VMDK and once I select VMDK I want to dynamically allocate uh, the virtual box I'm clicking on next and once I select uh, next I'll have the option to select the, um, the location wherein I want to save that VMDK uh, file path so let me save that on my desktop screen and click on create which will create the uh, virtual machine so once I create this virtual machine let me go to settings part and I need to make few settings before starting up uh, the, the virtual machine I need to um, set the boot priorities making the CD-ROM as the first boot device and our hard disk as the second boot priority um, or the second boot device so once I go to storage section I need to select the ISO I need to map the ISO image that is available in the download folders of my desktop screen and under the network I need to uh, select the bridge adapter and, and I need to give um, allow all permissions here and uh, looks like everything is all set to go and once I click on OK all I need to do is click on start which will start up the auto machine now let's try checking how to access the Ubuntu operating system without installing it in your computer so now that we're using the Oracle Virtual Box client uh, application in this computer on the bare metal OS, you can uh, burn this particular ISO image in a DVD or a uh, compactness, and just try to uh, you know your uh, DVD ROM. And uh, once you set the boot priorities, all you need to do is uh, uh, restart the computer so that uh, the, the computer will be booted from the hub, the compactness or the the DVD so that you'll have this particular console coming up now once we receive this console let's check uh, what are the options that are available for us now in order to access the operating system all I need to do is click on try Ubuntu so that it will be the option to access various features of the Ubuntu operating systems looks like it's trying to uh, make few settings here so what happens here is the ISO image or the ISO will be provided with the the virtual machine um, or a virtual image of the operating system which will be mapped when I click on try using Ubuntu so here I got the 
the operating system access I'll have the um, option to access various applications here and I've right click on um, Firefox and one more exciting feature about Ubuntu is it has the uh, you know the the counterpart of Microsoft Office that is open office uh, preloaded it uh, preloaded in the operating system here guys so it is one of the exciting features that I've found in the Ubuntu you know because uh, it's it's a kind of genuine operating system uh, wherein you will not have any risks like uh, you know uh, the the compliance part you will not have the trouble with the compliance of uh, buying the original software um, and you can um, get the the counterpart of the Microsoft Office uh, in the form of the Open Office and these are the few exciting features if you want to install any of the uh, applications here you need to go to Ubuntu Software Center alright hope this video helps you and thank you so much for choosing ID Masters